Good morning everybody, whoa, how is that an intro? Alright everybody, what's going on? Welcome to my dying YouTube channel and welcome back to another video. Today, as promised on my last video, I've decided to actually continue something. Thank you, I know it's been a month since my last video. Don't hate me, I'm sorry, I've been very busy. But we are going to be spectating today the player with the highest win percentage in Arena. Now, that did take some trouble trying to find the player that did but his name is Respect, and his and as you'd imagine with a player that has the highest win percentage, he's actually ranked the best out of everyone that even plays this game anymore. And he is champion one in Team Arena, and he's ranked Onyx in doubles and Onyx in Slayer. Today I've got two games for you. First game we're going to be looking at, a Strongholds game on Eden, just to see how he moves about the map. I wanted a... a an objective game and a Slayer game just to see how he moves about the map. We're spectating him. Let's see how he does. So here he is now. He's respect here. And he's immediately nading catwalk. Nading down there. Uh, in a second I'm going to show you who is on his team because it is quite insane. There goes. First kill goes to respect. His teammates are getting picked off. He's walking towards catwalk now. Thrust jumps. This player is better than I am so please forgive me if I do not keep up. Anyway, while there's a brief gap in the gameplay. You can see he has got Jimbo on his team. The former Epsilon player. He's a pro player. I don't remember what, I can't remember what team he plays for at the moment, but he is pro. And uh, I don't recognize any of the other names on there. Forgive me if they are like high quality players. Um but yeah, I don't recognize any of them. The enemy catches Blue Bend. They've got two versus one. He picks up rockets, going for Blue Bend, looking towards Red Nest now, trying to get the the counter pick. Unfortunately, he can't hit a rocket shot there. Assists in the capture for um, for Blue Bend. He gets the reload cancel on the rockets with the melee. That's a little handy little tip if you didn't know how to do that. See someone up here. That's going to be a fairly easy kill onto uh, Flurry. Capturing Red Nest now. He's sitting on top of the. A little capture point just to gain that height advantage, which is ever so important with the rockets. And now his team are gaining points. It's, it's uh, they've got actually three bases at this moment. They're gonna let blue base slide, maybe. No teammate gets the reset. Fair play to Moe's there with the perfect kill. Jimbo with another kill. So in this current moment, they've got all three bases, and the other team don't even look like they're capping any. He's staying towards Red Nest right now, just to try and assert some position in power. Two players here use the. He didn't use the rockets, instead he went for the pistol. Wise choice, one of them was one shot, the other was weak as well. Wise choice, you've got a man sitting at top, that's Jimbo. You've got a man sitting in uh, oh, security, that's another player there. And he gets another kill with the player underneath in bottom mid, not a good position. You can see the, the map control here, his player dies on blue bend, so he goes to try and sort that out. I think they may lose blue bend here, he makes a slightly wrong jump, drops down accidentally. Doesn't matter, can he? And he gets the reset, well done. Fair play to this kid, because this guy is good. He goes for the Spanker rocket launcher, picks it up. Well played, sir. And if this guy is even a pro player, and I'm just commentating on a pro player, at times the overshield to perfection, unfortunately, does get naded and gives up the heavily ammoed rocket launcher, unfortunately. But he did time that, um, that overshield to perfection. Came up at 49, I believe. And it's on that, I think it's three minute timer. Does a nice little jump up there to uh, top mid with the SMG. Ever powerful, of course. Unfortunately, does get picked off with the camouflage. The score is 58 to 11. They haven't, the other team have not got a single point since the very start of the game. Looking at the kills, he's tied with Jimbo at the top. And his team are absolutely destroyed. Actually, destroying at the moment. Absolutely bulldozing their way through this game. Gets a nice kill up top at Catwalk there. Gets the reset. Looking towards Red Nest now. As he knows that is where they will be spawning. Picks up the SMG on Blue Bend and making his way towards Red Nest. Uh, I mean, yeah, Red Nest. He wants these. He wants every single kill he can get. He gets Red Nest. He's looking down. He sees ground pound opportunity. Fortunately, misses out. Teammate dies. Could clean up with the Magnum. How is your shot? It's a bit wavery, but nice. Gets the double. And gets... The, I don't know if he's just showboating now with the melees. Or it actually does some sort of animation cancel. But, um... Fair play, because he is absolutely destroying at the moment. 
Now he's going for another flank. This kid's good at the flanks. He gets one kill with the SMG. Nade in blue Ben trying to stop the, the capture point. He has the SMG. He gets Nade before he runs in. Oh, fairly, fairly simple. He makes it look easy. His team are absolutely destroying. This is going to be such a quick game. Nice stick. Oh, oh, is that no way? Did he get that twice? No, oh my god, that first stick was mad. Fair play, game over already. Literally, this video, oh my god, it's, I'll have to check my watch. How long has it been on for? Six minutes, and this this guy has absolutely just destroyed him. Is that his armour? I don't know who it is, but he absolutely destroyed them. And, uh, wow, fair enough. That was too quick to handle. As you see, I had 13 kills, 5 secures, 1 capture. Fair play to him. The one capture is obviously testament to how well they held the bases and the secures is how well he manages to uh, sort them while they own the base and capture them back. Let's move on to the second game. Alright, on to Plaza we go and this is obviously the player with the highest wins percentage. See if I can turn off the wireframes. There we go. 91% on Team Arena, which is absolutely mental when you consider just how many games he's played. Um, an absolute ton, to be honest with you. And uh, something I noticed right off the bat here, uh, if I can, as he kills that player there, he's with exactly the same players. Uh, so he obviously runs a fairly similar team comp um, to what he normally does. As he gets picked off with a smart sniper there, rudimentary. But obviously he still has Jimbo, he still has Moe's, and he still has that Turf Oxy, which I'm pretty sure was on his team from last game. But um, let's see if he can continue his uh, fantastic win percentage here. So... Obviously, right off the bat, he went towards Sniper, as you do. You want to focus his power weapons. Again, this is his team. He's currently up by two kills. Uh, he, Turf Foxy is currently carrying at the moment with three out of the eight kills for his team. Alongside uh, Moe's. Anyway, he does a jump up into uh, Flowers. God, I forgot the... T oh, no, that's... Wait, is that a shop or Flowers? I can't actually remember. Let me pan the camera. I think it's Shop. Or window. You know what? It's been so long since I played this game, I can't even remember the callouts. Anyway, him and his team, 11 to 7 up. Nades are flying in. He's going to try and 4 shot this kid here. Uh, no, gets a 5 shot, sorry, not 4 shot. Uh, 5 shot on that player there. And then looking down, gets another double onto Asko. Looking around the corner. Has he got any nades? Yes, he has. He's just zoning them out now. That's a great nade and a good jump as well. The team, uh, I think, I don't really do this player justice. And he used the jump up into top gold. Wow! That is actually really nice. I knew you could do that, but I have never actually seen someone do that. In competitive play, fair play to you, lads. He knows his, he knows his jump ups and he knows his call outs as well because his team are communicating to the best. This is one of those times where you need that classic Astro listening as he hides behind garbage truck. Unfortunately, does die to rudimentary again, who is actually carrying their team uh, partially. Um, but yeah. His team, obviously, you've got to notice the way they're moving around the map. Look, uh, they're trying to control the Kira's top gold is being controlled. There. He picks up the plasma pistol, and his team are sort of staying as a unit. That's a really nice shot there across the map with the pistol to get that guy one shot. Looking towards Sniper, has to step up into Flowers, and he's just waiting with the plasma pistol. He knows that in a 1v1, he's going to probably succeed. And there you go, noob combo, gets the 1v1, very nice, Even potentially even 2v1. Doesn't get both kills, but he is actually destroying right now and I barely can keep track of what I'm talking about as you notice between this player and the previous player due to the way that they move around the map there's always something happening I'm gonna lose my voice ever so quickly commenting on this player but you know it doesn't matter when it's just so good you know what I mean and uh, it's obviously a pleasure <laughs> to, an honor to commentate on this player. Anyway, moving on. He picks up the VR, moves into top guard, putting down some suppressive fire. Does have to back down due to shots coming in from the barrels. Nading into there, knowing the player's down there. Going for Wheezy EU and does actually get picked up. Whiskey EU with the kill. Unlucky not to get the kill, but his teammate Turf Oxy picking up the uh, the kill, giving respect the assist. Obviously, with your teammates, you want to be calling out the deaths. You want to be supporting your team. Try not to go 1v1, which he actually is doing here, but as you saw in the previous game, he loves a good flank. So, um, you're going to see if he can try and pull off a flank here. Oh, gets actually... Oh, okay, went for the... Uh, for such a good player, that was such a bronze play. He runs in, gets SMG'd, and then doesn't actually shoot, but waits to throw the sticky grenade before you die. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that is a play which, if you are anywhere below platinum in terms of your grading... 
and someone kills you like that, you can automatically assume they're a noob. But, but this player, as we saw in the previous game, he is a fucking don with the plasma grenade, and he obviously managed to get a stick last game. Not so lucky there, unfortunately, but um, what can you do, eh? T looking up to top goal now, putting such shots for there. Get him, get him off top goal, nice play. Looking towards light rifle, oh, picks up the nade kill. Let's see that one more time. He's down there, teammate throwing the nades. There, oh, there he is. There's the grenade. He actually manages to bounce it off there. Can I just get... Can I get a good angle on this? Can I get a good angle, please? Yeah. Alright. Oh my goodness. The distance that he was away from that is quite phenomenal. One more time. The grenade is up here when it, it detonates. And uh, he actually does get somewhat lucky. Uh, oh, is that the plasma pistol blowing it up? Wow, the communication from his team to able to take that guy out. Truly, absolutely phenomenal. So fair play to him. That was a good grenade kill. He obviously makes his way up to top gold. Obviously, uh, trying to kill this Wheezy. Got unlucky with the AR duel there. Um, he probably should have won. Had the higher ground, but sometimes it is higher shooting down on your opponent. Not what you think, but sometimes that does happen. Obviously, as he went up there in the grav lift, he did actually clamber up the wall rather than take using the thing to take with you. Uh, obviously, a good tactic there, so you don't actually get exposed or... Just misses with the sniper rifle there. Looking, He's going to try and look for the quick scope. Can he? No scope. Nice one. Getting them distraction medals. Oh, can, oh, misses. Oh, oh, there we go. Gets the third shot. Fair play to you, lad. Two sniper kills now. Oh, looks to the spawner. Unlucky on the spawner. Misses another one. Used all the ammo. Not going to matter that he's dead. But uh, in this high CSR ranking team arena match, you obviously every win is vital. And he is 10 and 10 with six assists at the moment. Fairly, fairly okay KDA. One for one in terms of KD. But um, he's obviously helping his team get the W, and that's all that matters. Or at least that's what we think. Ooh, psyched you out there. Anyway, good shots coming in here. Oh, has to back away. Could have got that. But obviously, good call out. Is that his teammate, Mose? Maybe he was at top gold there, Mose. That was a really nice play. Yeah, he was. Top gold. That's why you need some player up there. Oh, fantastic play, I have to admit, fantastic play from his teammates. Obviously controlling those power positions, jumping into window, nice play there again. Looking up, his teammates getting shot from top gold, instead he goes to the nade glass, fair play, good nade. Unfortunately drops down, going for the lamppost, uses the crouch to get up there. Oh my goodness, he knows everything. And you obviously you'd expect that perfect not quite sure how, oh, it wasn't a headshot, that's fine, because if that was a headshot, that would have been disastrous, because that was definitely not. Anyway, gets another perfect, fair play to you, lads. You're doing really well this game. Three kills to the win. Jimbo with the sniper. Oh, that, he gets it instead. T-bags for celebration. Alien NJ picking up Moe's, looking down the corridor. Gets naded out. Oh, no, he's got... Oh, that player at top gold should have done better there. There's no reason... I have to admit, respect should have died before now. Does eventually get picked off. Um, unlucky, buddy. It's, it does happen. You're not going to survive every game. What is it? He's 13-11. Fair play. Game over. Jim, uh, Jimbo with the last kill on... Uh, what's his name? The rudimentary. And fair play to you, because that was a really good game. Yeah, I mean, his team definitely dominated. Anyway, guys, as you saw from that gameplay, fair play to Respect and his teammates. That is why he's ranked number one on the Halo Tracker, why he's ranked number one on win percentage, why he's ranked number one in Team Arena. Champion one. This Respect guy, he owes my respect. He's got my respect. As you saw, rather than uh, the other player, I had Twitter rink, he sort of, this was more of a more educational slash high intensity commentary just because... Everything's always happening in this one. There's always something happening, and that's what you want. I mean, that shows a good a good team comp when you're always doing something. If you're ever just running around the map doing nothing, you're either playing on a shit map, or you're not having an impact. And obviously, you want an impact. And the key features with this player uh, was obviously his map positioning. The control of top gold was borderline vital in this game that helped his team win so emphatically. Anyway, guys, that is all from me. I will do another one like this. Maybe not win percentage, but we'll have a look at maybe some Warzone percent win percentage. See what sort of wrecks they've been wrecking. 
Anyway, guys, that's all from me. Please leave a like, crazy, if you have enjoyed. Sorry I haven't uploaded in so long and been basically AFK on Twitter. Um, it's just what happens, really. It's just school. Just you just got to allow it, really. It's just school and then university. It's all coming together at the moment. It's uh, busy times, busy times. But I still made time for this video because uh, I'm bored on my ass on a Saturday evening, which sucks so hard. Should be out, but I uh, went out yesterday, so I'm pretty tired now. I've got football in the morning, but um, you don't want to hear me dragging it on. Anyway, guys, yeah, yeah. As I said, leave a like rating if you have enjoyed, uh, and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's see you guys in the next one. Peace out.